Hi guys, uh, welcome to another episode of the series uh, of the conversion of our regular boats powered with the gas and diesel engines into hybrid or full electric boats. Today we are going to be concentrated in the installation and the configuration of uh, the remote generator. Uh, we are going to use in the hybrid solution a generator. And uh, what is the idea? I want that the generator start when the level of charge in the battery bank decreases around 25%. This is the idea. I am driving my boat, I have two battery banks. The battery bank of the propulsion system and the battery bank of the house. Both of them will be charged with the solar panels. The pen of the boat, probably I have a, a solar panel array for the propulsion system and other solar panel array for the house. Both panels will be charged uh, with the solar system or with the battery charger located inside of the smart inverter. Uh, if, of course, if the boat is on the dock connected to the shore power, okay, the inverter will be wor working in charging mode and recharge the battery bank. Or if the generator is running, it's simple, the generator start and uh, uh, send power to the inverter charger and the battery charger recharge the battery banks. And I continue using my boat uh, all the time with uh, no connection to the shore power because uh, the boat is working uh, with the solar panels and with the generator periodically, depending how the level of charge increase or decrease. This is the situation. The problem was how to start that generator remotely. The idea is that the generator start when the DOD indicator, the DOD, the dip of the charge uh, in the battery banks, uh, send the signal to the servo GX and the servo GX send the signal to the generator and activate the generator. I was working hard with this topic and I found that one magic generator uh, there are different generators, but uh, I found that one that I like it is Masse, Masse 8.6, that generator. That generator is a generator inverter. Right now we are going to talk with my friend Agustin and we are going to try to understand what is the meaning of inverter generator. Uh, it's, it's, it's excellent. It's variable speed generator. Okay, I found that that generator. That generator has the ability to be integrated with a NEMA backbone and also have the ability to receive a remote signal uh, to start and stop the generator. Bingo! I discovered uh, the element to solve it, that specific situation. Okay, uh, now I am going to introduce my friend Agustin. I start in this business 22, 23 years, I don't remember exactly uh, ago. Uh, I was specialized in generators and I worked with him uh, repairing one generator in Virgin Island in Tortola, a huge generator of uh, 100 kilowatts. Uh, and uh, I, because uh, I accept a job position in the university to teach, uh, I abandoned the project in the middle and he finished the project uh, for me. And uh, from that moment, we are good friends and we are here uh, doing this video because he is a good, good, good uh, dealer of. Uh, uh, Masse. Uh, I am going to introduce my friend Agustin Diaz. Uh, my friend Agustin, I started in this business uh, 20, 22 years ago and uh, I started with, with Agustin, do you remember? 25 years 25 ago. 25 years ago, wow. He's working yeah. together. We, we were working in a Tortola repairing one uh, big generator. I started the job and he finished the job and from that day we are friends. No? Yeah, I remember in that time you not finished the job because yeah. you are starting here in the university. Correct. You I start position. the job, the reparation of that generator, John Deere, big one. Yeah. And, uh, 100 I, kilowatts. 100 kilowatts. And 150 foot yacht. Correct. And I abandoned the job because I start here in Broward College to teach uh, the classes that I am teaching more than 20 years ago. And, uh, and he finished the job for me. And, uh, and he finished the job. Uh, what well, little uh, yeah. uh, electrical diagram I you made? I created a small diagram that my diagrams, <laughs> and I let the diagram on the on the boat 
and uh, I say to him, hey my friend, you enter in the boat, in the right side, you found that my paper with the diagram. Two weeks later, he returned and said, hey my friend, your diagram was perfect. I connect cable by cable and what's good, no? Thanks. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, with Agustin, uh, we discovered the properties of, uh, of this uh, magic, magic generator. Uh, one of the most important uh, property of the generator is this. Normally, if you remember, I explained in other videos the procedure to calibrate the frequency to convert generators from European generators into American generators. You remember, I explained the process. Step number one is go into the back end and check the PC board, and in the PC board, according with the specification of the manufacturer, change the position of the terminals in the board uh, to to produce a single phase or double phase, a 50 Hz or 60 Hz unit go over there and modify the position of, of the terminals, the hotlines, the neutral and the ground. All right, this is number one. After that, uh, you need to go into the governor of uh, the fuel injection pump if the engine is uh, diesel and uh, calibrate the RPMs to increase uh, 1800 RPMs or decrease 1500 RPM depending if it's European or American. Okay, this is the process, it's not easy. In this generator, uh, in the software, you can calibrate that situation and you can obtain in the output single phase 120 60 hertz or single phase 120 50 hertz or uh, single phase 230 50 hertz or single phase 230 60 hertz or double phase, a split phase. Okay. This is possible in this wonderful, wonderful generator. Okay, and, uh, and uh, this is one of the properties that I discovered with Agustin. Okay guys, we are going to start to talk about this wonderful generator. The most magic part for me in this generator uh, is uh, the variable speed controller. Uh, what is the variable speed controller, Agustin? It, it's that one, this no? is the activator? Uh, the activator, okay. With green, green up and down the RPM in the, in the generator by control the RPM. This activator is working with the with uh, according with the load. Bar. According with, with the, the load. According with the load with the speed board. Ah, that's the speed board of this generator. Ah, okay, marvelous. Okay, uh, we have a a, a load uh, a load, load bank, bank. and uh, with the load bank we are going to simulate load. And we are going to demonstrate to our uh, students, our followers, that uh, the, the the generator increase the output voltage Correct. or decrease the or output decrease voltage them. depending on the load and depending and of course uh, graduate the RPMs. The RPM. More RPMs, less RPM with this actuator, uh, this intelligent actuator. The generator have the traditional start-stop solenoid, no? Is that one? No? This start-stop solenoid is, is that, that one. one. <laughs> And this is another one. This is yeah, this only is a, to adjust RPM. Adjust RPM. Guys, in this generator, the RPMs are not fixed. Like in the traditional, we move it 60 Hz or 50. No, this one is moving. Automatically. Automatically. Okay, great. What is the, the advantage of this generator, guys? In this generator, you can obtain in the output single phase 120, 60 Hz or 115, 50 Hz. Uh, and uh, also 230, 50 Hz or 230, 60 hertz. That's magic, no? We split generator with a double ball. With, uh, correct, exactly. 240, 240. Uh, by three line. 120, 120. Ah, with double phase. Double phase. Ah, okay, great. That's, it's, it's magic. Great. And this is possible basically because uh, this generator, you can apply load in the generator. In this particular case, this generator is eight kilowatts and we have uh, a load tester, uh, a load bank uh, to simulate load, <coughs> and we are going to apply 8 kilowatts. And uh, what happened with the generator? Normally, in the regular generators, when you apply load, the generator decreases the RPMs, decreases the RPMs, and recover immediately. You remember the gain when I explained how to calibrate gain? Okay, but this generator, when you apply load, that generator compensates with more RPMs, but the frequency stays constant. <laughs> this is the magic part. You, you, the, the generator automatically with that actuator is a servo actuator, intelligent governor, control governor uh, speed. That, that actuator increases the RPM when the load is applied, but the frequency is not modified. Oh, wow. 
This is the magic part of this generator. This is the actuator to adjust the RPMs. What is the procedure to start the generator? solenoid to start stop this is not the start stop solenoid this is a, a, a governor a speed control okay great okay this is the magic part of the generator but uh, the generator have another wonderful part the generator produce three phases AC with a big frequency we are going to check later 370 Hertz 370 first after that they convert the frequency with frequency drivers in 50 or 60 but in the back of the generator, at the end of the back end, is located an inverter. And uh, that inverter, that converter, is magic uh, because it received the three phases. And uh, with the step down transformer transformed in 116. And uh, with other step down transformer transformed in a 50A volts AC. And, uh, and uh, the most important part is this the three phases produced for the back end. Uh, each phase uh, is around uh, 170 volts a a AC. In between phase and phase uh, is uh, 320 with load, uh, load, basically with zero load and uh, low RPMs, of course. And uh, at, with high load and high RPMs, uh, the voltage in between uh, uh, two uh, uh, phases is around uh, 357, uh, 355. Okay, the voltage in between phases increase when the load increase and the RPMs increase. And the voltage in between phases decrease around uh, 320 uh, when uh, the load decrease and the RPM decrease. And that one is the demonstration. We are going to check the voltage. The voltage. We are going to check the voltage between two phases. 338 volts AC. Uh, can you decrease the load? We are going to reduce the load. Less load. Okay, 320. Once again, high load. The voltage in between the phases right now is going up, it's going up. Very compact. 
but oh, it's too because pump, yeah. uh, you can use this generator, you can use in closed area. area. Yeah. No, don't where you don't have any ventilated area. Yeah, of course. Is 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 raw water cooling? No. Yes, because it's it's, it's cooling by air cooler. Okay, the yeah. back end. No. Yes, correct. The back end. You okay. have an intercooler system okay. to cool the air and circulate that air by. Is it is is cooled by raw water also? By the, raw water. The back end. The back end. And so the 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 inverter too. And also the inverter. Look at the at the 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 raw the, water. Okay. The inverter, the computer of the inverter is cooled by raw water. The back end, the AC portion is cooled by raw water. By raw and water. the block of the engine is cooled by raw water. By and fresh water. Uh, and fresh water. Correct. Ah, you have a, a, they have coolant, you have coolant. And, and heat exchanger. And heat exchanger. Oh, wow, that's, that's magic. OK, you have a, how many uh, uh, heat exchanger? One for the engine, other for the back end, and other for the inverter, or only no, one? No, only one for the engine. The heat exchanger and other and for the electrical the, portion. The, the electrical size is the intercooler. It's an intercooler. Okay, that's, that's perfect. It. That's 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 magic. I I love it. This generator. Great. This is magic. This is this is because that inverter. In other words, uh, this uh, element adjusts adjusts uh, <laughs> the RPM according with the load, but the voltage and the frequency stay constant. Uh, Exactly uh, in the same procedure with uh, Agustin, uh, he explained the process to connect the laptop, the computer, uh, uh, into the into the board or the generator and uh, read the RPMs and uh, read the voltage uh, according with the load. We are going to explain the process to connect the computer in this moment, and uh, we are going to apply load with the load with the bank load. Uh, we are going to apply load at uh, 2,000 kilowatts. 3,000, 5,000, 8,000 kilowatts, 8 kilowatts, and we are going to check what happened with the output voltage, and we have it, what happened with the frequency, and what happened with the RPMs. The output voltage will be constant all the time, 120, uh, and the frequency constant, 60 hertz. However, the RPMs increase or decrease depending on the load. With more load, more RPMs. With less load, less RPM. However, the output voltage will be 120, and uh, the output frequency 60 hertz. This is magic. This is the magic part of this process. Uh, how is the process, Agustin? Uh, this it's is going to this. Uh, that the connection to the laptop. Uh, this is the interface. Ah, the interface. That's correct. Between the between the laptop and the main and the speed board and the speed board. The the connection is here in the speed board, no? Uh, okay. You remove that one, and now. To connect this terminal this over there and that's it no? okay and uh, we are going to check parameters uh, we are going to start the generator and uh, immediately we start the generator we are going to start checking parameters okay the generator is the starting Yeah. It's a uh, 
okay, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoy this explanation. And now uh, we are going to check how will be the connection uh, uh, in between uh, the generator and the intelligent part of uh, the Victron system. And uh, I am going to explain the two process uh, to start the generator remotely. Remember that uh, in, my, in my project, I have a automatic transfer switch. With the automatic transfer switch, I can start the generator. Of course, the automatic transfer switch uh, in this particular case have two input. One input is the short power and the other one is the generator. Okay, if the short power is disconnected, the automatic transfer switch detect and send the signal with the, those uh, a green buttons normally open, common, and normally close in the button of uh, the automatic transfer switch, and start the transfer, uh, start the generator. This is the option number one. But this is the option that I don't want it. Uh, I wanted that the generator start when the level of battery decrease. Okay, in that case, the signal is coming from the servo GX. The servo GX send the signal when the level of uh, uh, because the, the servo GX is connected with the DOD indicator. Uh, the, that indicator detects the level of charge in the batteries, send the signal to the servo GX, and the servo GX send the signal uh, to start and stop the generator in the run relay and start relay in traditional analog generators. In digital, exactly the same, in the run relay and start relay in the board. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope this material is useful for you in the conversion of your boat into a hybrid or full electric boat.